So, um, then we got some psychological horrors. Top 10 psychological horror ranked games. Doki Doki Literature Club. God, this is such old news. It's like, what? When the hell did that come out? Because I feel like that was eons ago. Release date. 2017! <laughs> it's like... Six years ago? My guy. What is this article? <laughs> it's released... The article's released three days ago by Dual Shockers. And yeah, Doki Doki six-year-old game like and it went viral it's not like it's an unknown title that's like hey you may have missed this it's like no everybody heard about it psycho anime girlfriend living in your computer okay anyway enough rant of that um Rule of Rose. Yeah, see, I haven't played Outlast. I mean, Outlast is, um, I've heard of that. I thought that was pretty popular. Hell's Blade. Hmm. I think I heard things about Amnesia. Yeah, because it's it basically, the Amnesia game saved the dying genre of psychological horror. Yeah, I think people were talking about that, how it's like it actually um, kind of recaptured what um, the genre was supposed to be about. And then down here, we got Silent Hill. Again, another game. I mean, it's kind of legendary, but... Yeah, it was fucking forever ago, but... Did they mean the one that was from forever ago? I think they're releasing a new one. Yeah, they're releasing a new one. Anyway, uh, I believe Silent Hill. It was developed by people that... It was a game developed by people that really liked horror games. But... I really liked horror as a concept, but they weren't gamers, right? And they weren't gamers and they weren't game developers, right? So it was kind of like the reason why it was, unless I'm thinking about something else. If this is the game I'm thinking about, and if I'm wrong, just like, you know, I'm, I'm talking about the game that was the, pretty sure it was this one, but um, they weren't. They weren't game developers, they weren't really gamers, so they created an experience that was so, like, unique and different that game developers and gamers, they, they fall into these ruts of, like, how things are done, right? And that in itself causes, like, you to be stuck in a box, and so sometimes getting outside people that don't game, people that aren't involved in it and don't know about it, that are fret these fresh eyes are often like the best people to listen to about things because you can pick out very unique things that you honestly would overlook and you didn't think of because you're so people that interact with the media get so conditioned. Right? And that game was very much an example of that phenomenon where they made like a super engaging game, but they just didn't, it was because they weren't associated with it. They weren't big gamers. They weren't um, game developers. So they weren't stuck in that mindset. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that was Silent Hill. Pretty sure. Regardless, it was a horror game. 